Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the Twitch Market Twitch Integration mod. I know we haven't talked about this one for a while because um, its initial iteration was kind of gimmicky, but we've had an update to this mod and I've had a few people ask questions about how to properly get it installed and everything. I remember I did a showcase, but I don't think I ever talked about how to properly install this. I don't think I put out a tutorial, which I had planned on doing. Uh, but I ended up working and things got all hectic. So here we are now looking at uh, the newest update for the mod and we're gonna go ahead and download it now so we can get started with this. So same old, same old. Uh, we're going to slow download here and download our Twitch market, Twitch integration newest update. And uh, this is going to be saving into my supermarket simulator mods folder. This is where I keep all the mods that I've downloaded for this game. You want to go ahead and go to save. And once that's saved, we're going to go ahead and open it right up so we can unzip it into that same folder. So whatever WinZip or whatever zip program you have to unzip it, you're going to have to do that. So we're going to extract. It's extracting to my Supermarket Simulator Mods folder, which is exactly where I want it to go. And then we'll go ahead and X all this stuff out and we're good to go. So let's open up our folder here for the Supermarket Simulator Mods, which is here. There's our Twitch integration mod. Uh, and here's the folder right here where it extracted to. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we have our DLL here. Let's open back up the page and let's go to description so we can see where this needs to be placed. If you already have the Bepinex and Melon Loader pack for Supermarket Simulator installed, great. You should be good to go and it should be easy for you from this point. If you do not have this installed, you need to install it. There will be a video down in the description telling you how to install this so that way you can properly do this because if you have not done this yet, this will not work. So make sure you download the Toby's Bepinex X Melon Loader Pack and then come back to the video and we can continue on. So, all right, so now, we need to place the mod into the proper folder. We'll go to Bepinex, let's go to plugins, and this is where our mods are for this one. And here we go, we have Twitch integration here. So it's gonna go, your Twitch integration DLL is going to go into your Bepinex plugins folder. I already have a version here. This is the old version. So when I transfer this over, it's gonna ask me to overwrite it, but there should be nothing really here for you. If this is your first mod downloading, nothing should really be here. So you're just gonna take this, your extracted DLL file, and you're gonna move it over into your Bepinex plugins folder in your game directory. Uh, we talked about how to get to the game directory before. You wanna go to Steam and uh, right click Supermarket Simulator inside of Steam. Uh, go down to the bottom, a little pop out, and then it'll say browse local files and that'll bring up your game directory and you should be good to go there. So um, so now that it's here and we've, we've done that, let's go back to the page and see what else we need to do. All right, so our next step is we need to start the game to generate the config file just like we need to do with a lot of other stuff that has configuration files. So now that you've transferred the folder, I mean the DLL into the proper location, which once again is your Bepinex plugins folder, your DLL should be here. Once it's there and you've confirmed that, you wanna go ahead and open up the game. So we're gonna boot up the game. And uh, once we boot up the game, it'll create your configuration file that you need in order to edit and properly set up the Twitch integration. So we're just gonna wait for the game to boot up here. All right, game is booted up. You can just quit from here because you just needed to boot the game up. So we're just gonna quit again right away and that'll close the game back down and your configuration folder should have been made. So let's go back to the page and let's see where the configuration folder is gonna be. It should be in Bepinex and config. So. Back in your game directory, right here, you want to go to Bepinex and instead of going to plugins where your mod was installed, now we're going to go Bepinex config. And here you will see 
your Twitch integration folder there. So we have our Twitch integration folder here. There's a bunch of stuff in here to look at. We're going to have to go through and figure out how to set this up. So, all right. So now that we're in the configuration folder, it says put in your Twitch username at user uh, equals replace, and it should be replaced with your username. So we're talking about actually, instead of popping both of these up separately, we'll do it like this. This will be a little easier. So here is your Twitch login username or Twitch login name, it says default value is replace. It'll say user equals replace here. This is where you wanna put the name of your Twitch channel and make sure it's the exact name. If you have spaces or underscores or whatever, make sure you include them. It needs to be your exact Twitch name. This is where it goes. And then your Twitch channel name right here, in, uh, which is the next step here, put in your Twitch channel name, same deal. You need to replace the word replace with your channel name. So once you've done that, your channel name should be here and here. That's those two steps done. Now, it says you need to put in your Twitch authentication token number or O authentication number or whatever. Uh, it says replace uh, should be replaced with your token. You have to click this link here to get your token. Uh, you'll click this, it'll bring up a screen. You'll be here on this screen and it'll say, please follow the steps below. Click the button below to allow the mod to fetch viewers from your Twitch chat. After authorization is complete, you will be redirected back to this page. Copy the secret into the config. Do not share. So you wanna click authorize now. It'll give you the code you need for this spot right here for the zero auth or o auth or whatever this is and you want to copy whatever you get that code here okay so after you've done that you click this link it'll bring you to that page you authorize it now and then it'll give you the the the, the this code here and you will copy that code and you will place it here okay now you want to save the config file after you've done that. Now, what did we do here again? Let's go through it one more time. We opened up our config file and we changed three things. Your Twitch login name. We changed your Twitch channel name and we changed your O zero auth code or O auth code or whatever. So this should be your channel name. This should be your channel name. This should be the code that you got from this link here. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to X this out. It's going to ask you to save it. You want to save it and make sure that it's properly saved. You should be good. So it says here, load a save game to start it or start a new game. If you see Twitch connected, at the top of the screen, then you've done it right. Congratulations, you're done. If it says no zero auth code or O auth code was token was found or that you're disconnected, then you fucked up. <laughs> so uh, let's open up the game and see if it says what it should say. Game is open. Let's load our save. There it is loaded. And as you can see on the bottom, it says Twitch chat successfully connected to supermarket simulator. In my Twitch chat, it says that, but more importantly, at the top, it says Twitch connected and there's the Twitch customers and they have the commands actually up at the top of the screen, which is nice. So like I said, this has now been updated. This is updated now and it is new, different than it looked before. Um, and I think one of the new updates is not only the new UI up top, but also when you go to management and you go to your hiring, here you can reset and pick new names for your customers so now i have control over this you didn't have control over this before it was completely random and you had no way to switch it unless you changed days or whatever but now with the new update you get to go in and actually pick new names for your cashiers and your restockers 
which gives you a lot more control over the situation, which makes this a lot more fun. So there you go. That's basically how you set that up. Now you can actually go in here and pick names for your cashiers by uh, choosing from the pool of Twitch customers that you have here or Twitch, um, you know, just Twitch people in general, because whoever isn't an employee for you will end up being a customer by default because that's how it basically picks it. So, and there you go. That's, that's basically how you set that up. It's connected and ready to go. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if, if you have any confusion, um, let me know in the comments or whatever. If you have any issues, I'll see if I can troubleshoot. Worst case scenario though, like I, I went through and I told you exactly how to do it. All the steps were exactly what they were. I just followed what was on the page. If for some reason it's not working, just start over and try again. Like start over from scratch, delete the DLL and all that stuff and just try again. Uh, because chances are you probably messed up somewhere and if for whatever reason it's just not working on your computer outside of just following the steps that I just showed you there's not much else I can really do you just have to follow the instructions on the page it is the only way to install the mod so if you can't get it to work after following all the instructions exactly as they were displayed then I mean there's nothing I could I can't help you you'd have to reach out to the to the creator of the mod and see um, if they have any other methods or maybe report it as a bug or something like that. But just, just letting people know, like outside of the explanation that I give you and outside of literally going to the page and following the steps step by step, that's it. That is as far as my knowledge goes on the mod. I only know what you know at that point, so. I don't, I don't have anything outside of that. So I know a lot of people ask and they're like, can you help me fix this? I'm like, I can't, I, I, I just did what was on the page. That's it. And I, all I did was show you how to do exactly what was on that page. So anything outside of that, I have no idea. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that I stress that because I get a lot of people who are like, fix this for me. And I'm like, I wish I could, man. I really do. But I, I only did what I was told. <laughs> so anyway. That's the Twitch integration mod. I know this is not like a widespread one. Not a lot of people who play this game stream on Twitch, but for the people it will be useful for, hopefully you find this helpful. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.